Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 21st of June still, and it's still 2017. This is Wired Magazine. It's Stephen Hawking, and it's Mars. So out of the three, at least I think Wired Magazine is real. But I digress because I can't prove it. But this is what they're saying again. For whatever reason, they're rehashing this entire thing all over again like it's new news. This is old news, but it's from yesterday. Why are they rehashing this? Hawking's has reasserted his views that her humans must become interstellar species in the near future or risk being annihilated. All right. I don't even know how much is wrong with that entire statement, but I'm going to try my best here. This guy does not have a magical machine that he simply leans his temple on and without moving one single solitary face, ligament, tendon, muscle, nada, nothing, zip, zero, zilch in his face or his forehead or his skull or anywhere. Nothing moves, but somehow magically whatever he's thinking goes through this little tube and comes out on this mirror and sounds like this. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit. So this guy is a puppet, a Muppet, or whatever you want to call, a sock puppet. It doesn't matter. But the fact that they roll him out, I mean, there's no pun intended, but I mean, they really do have to roll this guy out. They roll him out in front of the public and say, we must become interstellar or be annihilated. The masses see that. The quote unquote smart guys, you know, the guy like this that's probably never been in the woods once, doesn't know how to start a fire without anything except a big lighter, but has a great big lumberjack mustache beard deal going. Yeah, they believe them, and they're the ones that write to the masses. Earth is under so mu is under threat from so many areas, it's difficult for me to be positive, the professor said in a speech given. Yeah, I am stuck, given via video link to Starmus Science Conference in Trondheim, Norway. Now, if this guy is as smart as he thinks he looks, why isn't he writing for real that, hey, Mars isn't even something you can land on. We can't get there. There is no interstellar, and this guy's a puppet. But no, 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 no. Starmus, let me show you this real quick. Starmus is a great big festival about life in the universe that's been going on and will continue for two more days. Now, they've got all the main players here at Starmus. Now, the Truth is Stranger Than Fiction YouTube channel did a great job on this entire thing, breaking this down. But long story short, like I alluded to in the live stream I just did with Matt Landman. Long story short, these guys and all the Nobel laureates, all the guys that won Nobel Prizes like, you know, Obama for doing, oh, wait a minute, that's all bullshit too. Yeah, all those guys are getting together and they're saying, we need to convince the public that science is real. Everything we say is real. Why would they have to do that? If science was science, then science would stand on its own. It wouldn't need a bunch of Nobel Prize winning asshats to come out and tell us that, you know, you better believe what we say or or what or else or what or you'll be annihilated because every single solitary bad thing that's happening on the planet right now. You know what? Great. You got a microwave oven. You know what? Awesome. You got a refrigerator. Doesn't it feel like Hawking's is staring at you? I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. At any rate, hold up. You know what else science is? It's a bunch of pussy smart guys that can't stand up to tough guys. You know who the tough guys are? Alphabet agencies, CIA, military industrial complex. So the smart guys come up with something really good. The tough guys come in, push them all around until they do what they say. And next thing you know, we have things like, oh, I don't know. Let me pull one out of my ass real quick. Oh, how about this one? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? That's what they're spraying on us. That's what the other channels that are too busy worrying about what George Webb and what are those other bullshit nonsense that's going on. They're spraying us all to the point that people are dying of dementia. 
bees are endangered. They're almost gone. Everything is really, really effed up, and they're spraying all of us while everybody's infighting, arguing, and doing whatever. Nothing matters right now. Do you know why we're going to get annihilated? Do you know why? Because that's what they're doing, because we're too busy not doing anything about it. Stand up, step up, make a video. They are killing us before you forget to do, before you forget to know how to make a video, before you forget to stand up. It's getting unbelievably ugly. Look at the amounts of diseases. Where's all the science? Everything is going through the roof. The amount of autism, the amount of Alzheimer's, the amount of everything. Stephen Hawking says we need to go interstellar to Mars. Even an asshole with a big dumb beard like that knows he's not. Look at him. He knows that this is bullshit. And he knows it's bullshit too because he hasn't stopped staring at me through this whole video. You see what I'm saying? At any rate, whatever, whatever, or don't. I'm out.